Mega Constructs Call of Duty fans, just want to do a quick video on the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Hazmat Lab Armory. Uh, this is a, an addition to the other armory sets that are out there. One's a communication, one's a mercenary, one has a lot of warfare on it. Uh, one's gray, one's green, and one is red. And this is the kind of orange, rust colored one. Uh, it's got the little outbreak symbol there, a little hazmat outbreak, like some sort of zombie thing going on. It's pretty sweet, sweet like a zombie apocalypse container. But let me show you what it looks like. Okay. This is the container itself. This is one we do. Let me uh, take these guys off real quick and let me take a look at it. So here we are. Get a close up on it. Uh, I like the paint application with the white and 12 and got the little mass thing there. Got a tank up front. And just like the other armory containers like this, the doors swing open like that. And also you can flatten them out to create some sort of uh, scene if you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this has a door right here that opens up. Okay. Look on the inside. Yeah. There you go. Little, little tubes in there or little vials. But you, I'll get a better look at that. Let me show you. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get, look at that there. Okay. All right, here's the vials. Pretty sweet. It's a four-piece build, and they look like they're actually, you know, filled up with uh, some sort of liquid. Uh, there's a spot. Well, this door comes open, which I'll let me do. Let me open this door up real quick. There we go. Open it up. So these go. This goes right. That goes right here. There we go. Adjust it. And that's what it looks like on the insides. It's pretty sweet. And a little bit more. There we go. That's and then it comes with this beaker here, which sits here. And what you have here on the screen, I usually take 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 this piece and put it right here so it stays. What you have right there is a uh, looks like this is a some sort of uh, DNA strand, and it looks like they're doing like a little like like a little diagnostic on it there, you know, testing it out, see if it's got any zombie properties to it, you know. So that's pretty cool. This is a uh, Interesting set. I see what they're going for. They did a pretty good job with that. So yeah, so I like these because they're modular, just like the other ones. So you can stack these up as, as much as you want. Um, the other part is, I, like I said, I can't wait until they come out with the uh, Call of Duty uh, transport truck that's on Amazon. That that is not. Well, I keep saying it's currently not available, but I love to take that and put this on top and have that as a transport. Um, let me give you a look at the characters that comes with it. You got two hazmat guys. This is one style hazmat guy. Uh, it's got a, he has a hood. It's got the vest. There's, there's spots where you can put any additional items you want to put on there. Um, and if anybody, if you don't know anything about Mega Constructs, their figures, unlike uh, mini Lego minifigures, are super posable. When they're new, they're a little tight, but you know, you figure the poses. You can do any pose basically you want, like a like a gigantic action figure, but just miniaturize. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not as yellow as it seems. I know it seems yellow with the light on it, but it is not as as bright as it seems to be. Uh, it actually is more like a uh, like a mustard color, but a uh, kind of a. a like a dull mustard color because there's like a gray wash on the item on this particular item on his on his suit and everything else on the back of it and on the uh, the hood but you can't really see it from the camera because it looks so yellow but it's definitely not this yellow you have to take a look at yourself when you when you get purchased a set and then I was looking at the mask to see if there's anything different besides the the uh, hood and it looks like I've seen that before in the uh, Urban Strike one. Like here's a here's the Urban Strike. 
Um, he's got the same same type of mask, exact same mask. Um, so yeah, I, I knew I saw it before, and they have a couple of them like that that are in that set. This is the other one that has like a more of a tan mask. But they don't have any hoods. I don't see any ones that have had hoods. The closest I've seen even look that have a hood is probably the, the zombie guy. But still a totally different mask. But cool to have zombies. So that's one of them. And he came with this particular, this weapon here. Now, my problem with this is that if you look at the, yeah, look at the picture in the back. It has this clip here that goes on the back of it. All right, which kind of gets in the way of the hand. But the problem is this one, didn't fit in there. It kept falling back out. So it didn't, it didn't work going in there. Um, it kept falling. It looks like it's widened out or something. It's widening out. You see how wide it is? It's supposed to slip in there gently. I'll give you an example. Like this scope doesn't come with this. I just took it off another uh, Call of Duty uh, guy because, you know, their weapons come apart. So it should be able to slide right out like that. You know, but this is not working very well. That doesn't work at all. Uh, so, hope just look out for that when you do uh, get this set. That this particular gun seems to have had a little problem with that, and maybe that's a production error. But that's what's going on with that. That's why it doesn't he doesn't have that part in it. And it looks better in his hand because it doesn't have that clip that's in the way. So this works out well. This is the other hazmat guy, and you've seen him before, probably in a different color, maybe like in this color. Uh, the regular hazmat guy. Um, there's not a lot of differences between the two. It's a different paint application, different tank. Um, if you look at the tank on the back of this one, this is a four-piece build here. You got the actually he has a different tank, a different tank, more like an advanced tank. It looks pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, this is the other. Uh, this is another hazmat guy with that hazmat look. And there's another one in Urban Strike too. That's this one here. Take a look at that. Let me see if I can get it better. No, focus on me. Focus, focus. There we go. Same, same thing. Same head, same, uh, same mold. Just uh, this one doesn't have a uh, tank on the back. You know, uh, but you can never have too many hazmat guys, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's the way I look at it. I like the fact that that they have these hazmat containers and I'm gonna to try to get as many as I can. I have two right now, I'm trying to get some more. Whenever they sh decide to show up at Walmart or wherever they're at. Um, this is his gun here, which you can put a scope on there. And of course, just like every other, most of the Call of Duty guns, I mean, they come apart, stock comes apart, barrel comes apart, clip comes off. Same type of deal. And that's exactly what's going on with us. So that's basically what that is, and and you want to. I try to get as many as those, uh, you know, hazmat guys because I got a lot of zombies that I like to, you know, put out there, you know. And uh, that's basically what <laughs> would it be awesome to have these these particular containers for some sort of zombie outbreak, and that's what it, that's what the look goes for. Looks pretty sweet, like the part in the, in the uh, Call of Duty game where you have the zombies. So that's what that is. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is another one that has a that has the same type of uh, gas mask face. This is the uh, the uh, Call of Duty Close Quarters Weapons Crate. It's just green, and he just has a you know a hat on, just like the uh, Urban guys. That's pretty sweet. So they, I like I said, I try to gather as many of these hazmat guys as possible, so I can build a scene, do a diorama or whatnot. And this is definitely a set. You definitely want to try to get if you get a chance. It's a nice set, nice color, nice build. Um, didn't take too long. The characters, of course, are awesome. Definitely something that one I would suggest stacking up on if you can get your hands on them. Let's uh, see if we can get see if we can get Mattel and Mega Structure actually uh, have these come in so we can so people can have them and not have to wait seven or eight, nine, ten months or you know next year or the 2020 to get them. All right. But anyway, that's it for this. My next video is going to be on the Megastrux Halo series, uh, Halo Heroes series eight. Now that I got Dr. Halsey, which took forever, but I'm going to do that next video. But this is all for right now, and I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your holiday.